it's rolled or straight. Okay. Hello everybody. I know I've been away for a couple of weeks and that's probably been pretty difficult for all of the Funny Side Up viewers. And it snowed here in Brooklyn. It snowed like crazy. Why don't you check out the view from inside my bedroom? You voted for pancetta and avocado. Okay, so this is what I usually do. I usually like search one of the ingredients for inspiration. In my search, this recipe came up for focaccia. Wait, am I saying that correctly? Let's go to that like dictionary thing. Focaccia pronunciation. Here we go, here we go. Ready everybody, listen up. Focaccia. What? Focaccia. Okay, so I guess it's focaccia. I don't know if I'm gonna say that the whole time because it seems a little weird to me, focaccia. I might just say focaccia because that's what we all say and by we I mean you and me and focaccia. Focaccia is like a flat red, it's Italian, and it's got those dimples on top. It was focaccia with pan a pancetta topping with onions and I thought that sounds absolutely delicious. And then I thought, but how am I gonna incorporate avocado? And then I thought, well, maybe I could just make a little avocado spread and it could be kind of like a delicious snack. So I think we should really just get started because I'm gonna go crazy if we don't. First things first, let's get this yeast mixture going. In a liquid measuring cup, get about three quarters of a cup of water heated between 125 and 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, look, we're right there, perfect. Into this, add a teaspoon of sugar and one whole package of active dry yeast. <music> Using bread flour, because we're making bread. To this, we will add one teaspoon of salt. Worst idea ever. Looks like this yeast is almost ready to go because it's getting all bubbly and weird. We're gonna mix this up and we're just gonna pour it right into the... Put some flour on the surface. It's gonna dump out the bread and knead it for a little. Oh yeah, kneading it up. You can be generous with adding a little more flour because it's a pretty sticky dough right now. Now we take this ball and we just coat it too in the olive oil. first. What's an avocado? It's a berry that contains a seed. It was known by the Aztecs as the fertility fruit. It contains a lot of mono unsaturated fat, which is the kind of fat that's really, really good for you. So we're going to make a simple spread with avocados, a little bit of lemon juice because that will ensure that the avocados don't brown and also it'll bring out the flavor, a little bit of salt and a little bit of garlic. So beautiful. I'm gonna pour in the juice of two lemons. So now for the moment that we've all been waiting for, I'm just gonna process it. Okay, let's give it a little taste. Mmm, oh, it's really delicious. It's very lemony. Now I know what you're thinking. Isn't this just like another form of guacamole? Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Okay, so now that the dough has risen for a bit, it's gonna shape it. So preheat your oven to 375. Just dump it right out on there. Okay, and we're just gonna press it out into, it's gonna do a heart for Valentine's Day, but then I thought, oh, I still could. You know what, I will. Okay, it's a very weird looking heart. We're just gonna let this rise again for 15 minutes. Well, it doesn't really look like it rose at all, but 
we're just hoping for the best here, folks. We're gonna dimple it. Now we're gonna make the topping. Pancetta. Pancetta is a dry cured meat like bacon. It is pork belly that has been cured in salt and various spices. Well, today we're gonna use it to top the focaccia. And here's what we're gonna do. Heat up some olive oil on medium high heat. To this we will add two ounces of chopped up pancetta. And this is like a small red onion, thinly sliced. It smells delicious. Dump this mixture on top of it. Spread it out. Pepper it up. We'll stick it in the oven for 30 minutes or until the crust is golden brown on the bottom. Let's do it. Ooh, wow. Let's give it a shot. The saltiness really, it just hits the avocado and brings the avocado flavor out even more. Let's just try this on its own. First of all, you gotta love meatiness and bread. This, the sweetness of the red onions just adds like a totally different level. Mm. I suggest that you would make it. And see you next week. <laughs>